Yo, how's it going everyone? Gigas Thickus here and in today's video I would like to talk about how to open up players defensive offensive or impatient players as well It is all fun and cool to you know land your setups or do high damage combos or have fun with a character But you have to land your crucial first hit as well And that might be a little bit tough to do if you don't know how to approach the player or how to open up a defensive offensive or again impatient player because Gigas has his tools to open up someone on a defensive note you know you can go keep away a little bit with him you can poke people in the sweet spot or you can also be very offensive with it while running too but you also have to space that correctly you can do it full screen because it's quite slow so in today's video I will try and cover my favorite moves to use um, also my favorite sequences to do so you know what do I what do I I like to do the most if this happens or what do I do at this specific range and also the reason behind why I did that you know not everything is just randomly autopilot but I do have my reasons to use a specific key move at this specific or random range maybe you thought but you can do this well maybe you can do you can do this as well you know that's why I'll try to cover as much as I can and um, let's get started all right so now we're here at the training mode and I would like to say something as well because not everyone plays Gigas on the same way because I like to play a little bit more passive, you know, zoning, spacing and then create a whiff punish for a knockdown. That for me is one of my basic game plans because it's quite effective. Gigas has his tool to do that as well, you know, 4 for 2, great range as a sample. But if you don't feel like to do this method or game plan, feel free to adapt your own game plan, you know. If it works for you, perfect. Good stuff, right? But that's why it's my video <laughs> i'm creating this video and i would like to explain my method and game plan and for me it really works so i hope it will work for you as well so if we're talking about um offense or approach most of the time people will do this they will close the gap right because you want to hit someone it's pure logical reason to say hey i want to approach so i will go forward but for me an approach and an offensive approach it's not like a technical of offensive approach but for me backing up is also an approach for offense so what did I what do I mean with that for me it is more important to create space as an example and way to someone to overextend so let me give you a good example so that's a very basic method I it, it, it might not be something that someone will randomly do well okay trust me it happens quite often online but what I mean with this is you can wait patiently, create space, and with punish. This is an open up. Now I already opened up Hayachi for a launch as an example. And there are different ways to open up an opponent with backing up. You know, not everyone is capable of backdashing in quick succession, but for me it really worked. And this again is my approach of opening up players or punishing them. You know, being offensive, start my offense. So that's why we're gonna continue on this notion I love to do Ford for two so why is Ford for two so strong first of all it got buffed <laughs> it got buffed but as well it gives you a knockdown on clean hit it has so much range that reached it's safe it's mid right it's linear so don't do this all the time people can sidestep this but it is just the mindset behind it because if you get a knockdown now you can start your offense as in knockdown, you can go for while running two if they stand up normally. So here we do four for two on hit and we'll go close up with a while running. Maybe they could jab you out of it, but that's kind of hard to do. And if they do and they miss time, you will get a free knockdown because while running two knocks down. There you go. Um, a knockdown is so important for Gigas in my opinion, not only for Gigas but for multiple characters in this game. Right? So here you can approach already with plus seven as an example. So now the mind games start if the opponent stays on the ground, which is a very good idea to do if you're the enemy. So what is your option here? You gave yourself a knockdown or you gave the enemy a knockdown, so you're in a better position now. Here is where the mind game starts because Hayachi has different ways to uh, retaliate, you know, with a spring kick, he can do a wake up mid kick. So let me just do this as an example. He can do this. He can go for the low mid kick or a low startup kick, wake up kick. He can go for the spring kick. He has options, right? So here starts the same notion I started 
in the beginning of explaining all this. For me, it is more important to wait out and see what the opponent does. You know, if they have, or if I give myself a knockdown, most of the time, to be very honest, I won't go for the wall running. And why? Because it's quite risky. If I do this and I go for the wall running, well, I got stuffed, you know? If I do the same and I do the wake up low kick, oh wait, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, a wall, that's not a wall running, I will get launched. And same goes for the mid kick that gives you a knockdown. For me, the best thing to do is um, to wait it out. And maybe that gives you that gives away your potential while running, but that's also something you have to condition. Just do your knockdown move and wait out what they will do. You know, go in, backdash, hey, thanks, launch. That is one of my favorite things to do if I get a knockdown. And for for two. Is a knockdown that creates a lot of space, right? So you have all the time to see what he's about to do while being in a relatively safe position. You can stay here, wait for his retaliation, and punish him again, creating a kind of like a vortex. Now you condition your opponent to maybe stay on the ground and do nothing, or maybe even quick roll. And when you see when they quick roll, then you can start your offense with the while running as an example so this is one of my easiest kind of straightforward methods and approaches to open up a player and give him a hard time let me summarize create space wait for the whiff punish give yourself a free knockdown and check from there analyze what the opponent's about to do if they stay on the ground then you most likely know that they will go for a wake-up kick or a spring kick just wait it out you have plenty of space to see what the opponent will do you see? If, even if we whiffed, no problem, we're still safe. Thank you. The next thing also on specific certain ranges is down 3 plus 4. Again, this is not something that gives you free plus frames or gives you a free hit or something like that. But if you time it correctly, you can actually negate their offense with your own offense. It's kind of weird to explain, but I'm, I'm gonna try and show what I mean with this. So if you know that you know, at a specific range, he's going to do something um, with that they have to extend, you know, overextend or maybe to start their offense. You can just wait it out here with down three plus four. You know, this as an example, this string as well. And what do I mean with now it's my turn? First of all, if you time it right, you can actually punish it back as an example. And with a down one string, so there you might see, I didn't have enough recovery time, right? Because I still went in the power crush. But now it's your turn, or you can try and steal back your momentum with back two, with plus frames. So let me give you a better example. So now I recorded Hayachi doing down for 1-1 one, one as an example, because he's, you know, trying his offense, poking and checking what I'm about to do. But what if I absorb all this? So, most of the times, in my own experience playing this character, if you absorb a move, the majority of the players will respect and back paddle or block, you know, just, you know, walking backwards to block your income because I absorbed the move. I didn't take like a clean hit, so he's not plus anymore. So now that's your moment to shine and say, hey, I absorbed the move. Now it's my turn. That's also one of the ways or methods I like to use and to open up or start my offense. It doesn't have to be back two as an example. I can also go for like a back one plus two, you know, giving me three plus four. And it forces crouch on block. That's plus five on hit. All right, so now I covered my favorite kind of approach for starting my offense, right? So again, just it's a little bit more on a passive way to approach an opponent and start your offense, but it's for me the safest way to do, right? It's the safest way to open up your, or start your offense, capitalizing on the, you know, the mistakes the enemy made. So what if you're against a defensive player, you know, or someone that doesn't overcommit or is playing relatively safe, a little bit turtle-ish? You have your tools to actually give yourself decent plus frames. So one of the easiest one I was, you know, one of my favorites as well, is while running two. It is on the slower side. It is on the slower side, 
like, it's like 20 yeah 20 frames but it's plus seven you know it gives pushback on block which is super nice for the specific reason that you can chain insta while running pretty easily because you have a bigger window to buffer your while runnings you also have back one plus two it's plus four for his crouch so you have crazy good follow up to down for four one plus two if they press a button this is counter hit and that is all guaranteed or it, it jails that jails fully on counter hit so if they press a button that's for free uh, down for three one plus two you know the counter hit launcher it's pretty unsafe because it's minus 16 and the high is or the extension is a high so they can duck it but you also have different options you also have a very easy to use poke down for four as in it's safe like minus three so if you do this you can also power crush cancel it if they want to steal back the momentum with like a down for one and again if you do that in a quick succession it's kind of your turn again because you absorbed it you didn't take the hit but you absorbed the move and of course my favorite move and that's also the reason why i play this character for fuck's sake is his back two so maybe you already noticed one big issue here they're all super slow on startup 20 frames this is even 40 frames the only thing that's quick is his down for four compared to 20 and 40 frames and all, also insta while runnings but that still remains slow because the move itself is 20 frames so if you do a while running into another while running they can interrupt it because it does not cover itself so how are we going to blend this into offense this is where gigas his beautiful jab comes in clutch for me at least i love one into back two why may you ask right so one is safe, it's plus one, even, it's not even just safe, it's plus one. This is a very good tool to check what the opponent is about to do. If you check with one jab or two jabs and you see that they will duck, as an example, to avoid maybe the second or third jab, then you can already do this. It will even hit if they are like crouching for an hour. To be very realistic here, why I love jab into back two. Most of the time the enemy knows, okay, so jab, there will be a follow up because it's plus on block, you know? Maybe this into this, making it 12 frames quick because this is plus one on block, so that's 12 frames now. Jab into back two though, if they respect your jab, you know, you can go jab into back two. And it kind of blends into the recovery animation of the one, you see? You can see that he stands like this in his jab animation right there. And then he switches his arm like so into the back too. So it kind of is like an animation blending technique I like to do. One more time. You see? And it looks cool as hell. Also, same goes for, you know, jab into back one plus two, giving yourself plus four force and crouch. And I also made a very, I, I guess... An okay easy guide on staggering and mental plus frames this is kind of similar as well what I'm about to explain you can go into down forward four into back two if they block or stand normally so what is your answer or what is my answer if I see that they don't respect my jab checking as in if I do jab and I want to go for the back two they will jab me back or they will do down for one to break my momentum which is you know Understandable because it's not a true block string. It isn't at all. So what do I like to do? Or what is my favorite thing to do if I see they don't um, be they're not patient enough to check or giving my you know momentum to check them with my jabs? Well easy. First of all, if you do this on block, you're plus one. So this down for three is 12 frames, a 12 frame mid, and also on normal hit, this jails giving you you know solid decent damage but plus four is very nice in my opinion so down for four will beat ev everything except for 10 frames and if you trade with a 10 frame so a jab you will get a free one too for free let me try and show you what i mean so there you go if they try and jab you back the one two is totally guaranteed if you trade with their jab with a down forward four so that's why this is kind of under 
it's underplayed. I don't see this move all the time or the string. I know it is a high on follow up, but you have a mid that launches on clean normal hit. So you have some uses for this string in particular, in my opinion, of course. And also, um, if you see that they will poke you back, you know, this is plus one on block as an example here. Show me. It's plus one. So if they do down forward one to try to, you know, maybe interrupt or check what I'm about to do. If I go for a slower move, this will launch because you're plus one on block. Down for three is now 12 frame, and on counter hit it is a launch. So you have kind of access to a mid 12 frame launcher if you hit the jab on block, which is pretty nice. The only, of course, the only pro or con is that it's super unsafe. It's minus 16, and you can actually option select the follow up. You know, you can do this, and they can down jab it, and if I do the follow up, they will still down jab my extension. So. But again, if it's on a hard read, you know, you're doing jab into this and you see, oh, they down for one me out of it. For the next time, consider this. Consider jab into down for three, one plus two for the launch. For me, it works. So that's why I love to share it. So the next thing, um, again, I already explained in a different video, my previous video, I think. Yeah, my previous video is staggering. Again, I love to stress this out because it, for me, works wonders against impatient players so let me quick explanation I also use this string as my uh, example Fort Fort 4 2 is a string that has a launcher on the end the extension is a mid launcher test the waters first with Fort Fort 4 and see what they will do if you see that they're impatient that they're jabbing back or they're doing a low or they jab or down for you know if you see that they do something after this for the next time you know, they will do something and the second hit will launch. Now you created a mind game to him, you know, for, okay, so you're not respecting my string while well, you get launched, right? And now he's afraid for this, you know, he's afraid of the string. So the next time you do this on blog, it's always go, it's always good to go safe, you know, better safe than sorry, and still check first what, what he's about to do. Some players don't learn from their mistakes and they will still press a button. I actually played against some higher ranks that still press the button after hit, getting hit three times by this string so that's why it's always safe to go for okay what are, you know what they're about to do and now i see okay they're respected and let's alternate this you know let's go for a different one let's go for back two let's go for like a sneaky low stuff like that you know let's go for plus frames let's go for another plus frame there that's also you, something you can do against impatient or hyper offensive players the next thing um about gigas which i love to do and also open up player are um or is poking i mean you have to use his pokes in my opinion he has one of the best if not the best jab in the game he has a good 14 frame mid poke i know most traditional pokes are 13 frame quick but one frame more but for this beautiful range i'll take it you know and it's also minus three it tracks on both sides pretty good and it has a cool follow-up with one plus two giving you plus one and it also forces crouch i know it's interruptible but you can always go for the mind game like this if they try to interrupt with their high because 10 11 and 12 is mostly high those are mostly high so you can always go for like oh i got interrupted hey cool low maybe even a counter hit low if they did like one one two as an example um against hayachi so other pokes uh you have low pokes like down back four actually pretty cool poke it is minus two on hit i know but it's 14 frames quick so that's very nice in my opinion and it also has a special counter hit property giving you plus three and plus three means while standing four is now 10 frames. And if this trades with a jab, it's a free launch. If it beats another option, you get a free knockdown for a back one follow up, which is pretty nice in my opinion. But you can always go for, you know, counter hit uh, down back four, maybe into a while standing hit confirm because that's a hit confirmable now, you know, while standing two into three, or go safe with uh, while standing one. That never hurts, in my opinion, while sending one. It's minus seven, it's not minus nine. So, hey, you got also those options. 
one of the most fun things to do if we're still talking about um, down back four into a while standing option is um, if you have rage this only works with rage but it's worth mentioning in my opinion so we all know that while standing 2-4 is a real thing right it's I mean almost no one uses it in competitive play for what I see I mean who plays gigas competitive um, at all but you know what I mean right this move is kind of cool to be honest so why is this move cool you might ask if this while standing 4 hits on block your rage drive is fully guaranteed so how this works and now you do the rage drive that rage drive is you can't avoid that that's guaranteed all right so i recorded AI i doing that setup you know the while standing two to four into the rage drive so now i'm hayachi and you can also see my inputs here notice that i'm holding up back there it didn't work let's do just upwards you know mashing up it didn't work so this is also something i love to do if i'm on low hp but i hit the well of the down back four and i condition them to block because i hit a low most of the times most of the players will respect the while standing follow up into the while standing to four and that's also something cute to do right it's also cool to do and the final thing i do a lot and i mean a lot is jab into command grab buffering so what does that mean on block or on hit doesn't matter but most of the time it will happen on block it's it just it just works i don't know why <laughs> even against you know higher ranked players that no gigas does not have a grab mix up it works so as you can see in the command there i'm doing something very weird maybe for you but this is how i jab a daily basis i don't do this you know i do this so now you're like okay um that's fancy at all but why is this handy or cool or interesting so gigas has everyone know this but gigas has a grab a command grab that is a half circle back into forward one plus two that is the whole input but it is actually possible to have this half circle back stored that's how i call it stored or you know in the input buffering window and in like two or three seconds or two seconds maybe you're still able to do the four one plus two for the grab so i can show you right here one two it's barely one or two seconds as you can see there so this means that you can actually input that half circle while doing a different command which is for me one as you can see there and this actually makes your grab 10 frames normally it's 11 frames as you can see there starter frames that's 11 but because this is a jab giving you plus one on block it is as fast as a jab and this is so good if they're against the wall because you know this fizzes the wall is crazy damage but it also conditions the player actually to duck it if they don't know how to break it so then you can go like super silly like jab into back three for knockdown back to four for two for a knockdown and of course they can break the grab and if they do then this might not be a very competitive thing to do or a smart thing to do but not everyone breaks the grab 100 percent right even me you know the pro korean player even he sometimes does not break a grab even it's just a one plus two so for me it is actually you know inserting pressure with this and then double check the with a jab or if you know they know i'm going to do this then the mind game as well starts with jab into back two you know they're anticipating the grab but now i'm doing this as an example the one happens quite faster as in the grab happens faster but it's still easy to blend those two options in your game plan you know if they don't break this well go ahead do this if they now anticipate the grab you can go for back two or go for back four so i hope this helped you in any way or shape with your gigas offense uh, for me again it it just works wonders and if you want to see me doing it uh, i have some videos 
of my you know my stream on this channel my youtube channel so you can see how it works in like a real match or you can check my online um, uh, compilations i have you know the random online compilation i made if you have any struggles with gigas or if you don't know what to do or you know just go go nuts in the comment section and ask away i hope i can help you as you know the best i can and if your question is very good i also want to share it in my discord maybe different gigas players can also help me in my discord um but please don't be shy and ask away man i i'm here to help you guys with gigas because i know this character might be a very big struggle if you play the character and you don't just know how and when to start your offense as an example or how to be defensive you know being limited with your side steps and stuff like that so yeah you can also expect a different video coming up after this one and that will be about being plus with gigas because it's it might be a bit straightforward to to just do stuff after you're being plus but it most of the times when i see a different gigas player doing stuff after he's plus he just gives away his turn for low reward as an example so i would like to share that as well you know my favorite follow-ups when i'm plus and um yeah again hope you liked it hope you learned something and if you have any questions ask away man please i'm, I'm here to help you so that's that'll be it for today i'll see you in the next one bye